What's up, I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm gonna take you through the making of my world in mostly black and white. So for a while I've been wanting to do a photo project, something like a photo book or a calendar or something like that, because I really haven't done that. I've been on the road shooting so much that it's really just taken up all of my time and I haven't been able to put anything together. So now that I'm back in Canada and I have a little bit of free time, I decided to do a project. Um, and so I did my world in mostly black and white, which is a photo book which combines images um, of color and black and white. So we're mixing the two together. And I think it's a cool project. I think it came out really well. And I'll take you through the project and how I made that happen, starting with how I edited the images um, to color with black and white using Photoshop Elements 13, creating the photo book or how to create a photo book in Photoshop Elements 13. And then I'll guide you through the, the, the book that I made a little bit and give you a bit of a preview and show you how you can buy it if you're interested. So let's get into the book right now. Okay, so the first part to creating a photo book obviously is selecting the images and really that was the hardest thing for me to do. Not only do you have to find images that you think are cool, but you have to find images that work well in both black and white and color. And not only that, I think it should actually add something to the image like a certain emotion or a certain feeling or exude an atmosphere of some sort when you do that. So it was really, really hard finding and selecting images. I went through my favorite images first and tried to play with them a little bit and then um, I just ended up finding some images that looked cool like this and exuded what I was trying to show. So if we open up Photoshop Elements 13 here and we have an image from, um, this is Kruger National Park of an elephant, a bull elephant that eventually chased me down the road. Um, we can use Photoshop Elements new tools and all the images that I created in this photo book, book I used one, sometimes two of these tools uh, to make it happen. So for example, if I wanted to take this image here and just make a certain color pop, which is what I did in some of them, I can do this and just click yellow. And boom, only the yellow stayed. And you can just see how that image is a little bit cooler than the original actually. I love the mood to it. I love the yellows and all the black and white. And that comes out absolutely perfect. In fact, I like it better than the full on color version. And that's a photo that you will find deep in the pages of the book. So that's one of the techniques I used. And with the Photoshop Elements 13, it's just so easy with this, this color pop. Um, another thing I used is the black and white selection tool. And let me open a different image to show you how I did that. This one here um, from Belfast, Ireland. Um, we open it in the editor. And so we go over to our selection tool. Tool. If you go black and white, it's just gonna go, everything's gonna switch to black and white eventually. So if you go dark, you get something like that. And I wanted a little bit of color. So with black and white selection tool, what it does is it basically allows you to select a certain section of the image. So before, if we would have used color pop and chose yellow, all this yellow stuff would have stayed. And actually that's pretty cool in itself. I love how that looks and maybe regretting my decision in the book not to go with that rather than a quick up selection. But I'll show you the selection tool. Black and white selection is simple. You go into this part here and you select everything that you want black and white. Now, I'm gonna do it a different way and just black and white everything and then deselect some of the images by zooming in on it. So we're gonna zoom in on the stop sign because that's what I want um, in color and hit sub subtract. And then the selection tool is really good, so you won't have too many problems. Of course, sometimes the middles pop up, but that's easy to fix again. But yeah, really, really, really simple and quick uh, to do that. So now if we want to remove this again, we just hit add, click on the middle, and it figures it out for you. And yeah, so now you're done, and that's your image. That's another one of the images. Again, now that I look at it, I wish I would have just done yellow with this one, although this is a back page image anyways. Um, once you've got all your images sorted in and edited the way you want, um, you can do a photo book really, really easy in Photoshop Elements 13. 
Uh, as I said in the review of Photoshop Elements 13, the, the beauty of this program, and this program is geared to people that are doing like photo projects like photo books and calendars and all those sorts of things, and it's really, really easy to do here. So in you can do this either in the uh, editor or in the organizer, but you've always got this create tool up here. We'll just do it from the editor. You hit create and you've got all these options up here and it'll walk you through how to do all these things. So you've got your photo book, greeting cards, calendar, collage, Facebook cover even, which is cool for the social media people. And yeah, CD covers, you've got all these things. So um, let's click photo book. And yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so then uh, you get to choose your book, of course. The, the beauty of Photoshop Elements 13 is it does pretty much do all the work for you. So let's pick a monochrome monochrome as I learn how to speak English again um, just for showman's sake and obviously I've already done all this stuff and I've already edited and fixed up everything but then you've got your image here that you wanted at the start or you can uh, go over to your second pages and it's really simple because it basically sets it up for you and then you can just click on your image uh, drag your image in or click to add the photo as it mentions and of course all this stuff is customizable you can change all the sizes you can add text boxes um, you can do all sorts of crazy things pretty much customize the entire book right here in Photoshop Elements 13 or if you're absolutely lazy you can basically hit automate and it will automate all your images into a certain photo book so if you're the type of person that maybe had a wedding or something like that and you just want to plug in all your images from a wedding or a birthday party or something like that without doing a lot of work you can just hit automate and it will plug all the images into your photo book and then you just print it or um, you copy off the files and then send it to a, a third party to to send you that photo book or whatever um, yeah so that's the process to creating the photo book and it is really, really easy with Photoshop Elements 13, both to edit images to black and white, uh, black and white with a little bit color, and to edit your photo books or to make your photo books. It's so simple. So I want to take you through my project um, that I came up with and will now be selling over, um, over here. And this is the preview of it. So I've got my cover the book, as I call this, called My World in Mostly Black and White. And it's a fun project for me because I do not shoot a lot of black and white. I do a lot of color, a lot of really poppy color, vibrant colors. And black and white's been a thing I've avoided a lot of. Uh, I don't really think it suits my style a lot, but it's something I forced myself to focus on this past couple months. And I wanted to do a project that involved black and white, but I also wanted to involve my color a little bit more. So let's walk you through the book a little bit. Um, when you see this, this will be a soft cover. And this is the cover page and then we're going to go straight into it. So as you can see all the images have this black and white look with a little bit of color into it that's taken in Mongolia that's just the cover page. And then I really wanted the images to speak for themselves so it's not a lot of text. I just have the images, the location and as you can see it's black and white with color. This one I popped the blues, this one I used some selection tool as well as popping both reds and greens. Um, you've got Lake Louise here with just the nice glowing red and the red canoes. You've got Dubrovnik with a blue. Uh, you've got Howth Ireland with a red door. The orange color of Petra. Bern, Switzerland. Hue, Vietnam. Um, Kruger National Park. This is the image I showed you earlier. Hong Kong. Kirk Eufelfoss in Iceland. Sierra Leone and a chimpanzee. Yeah, so that's pretty much it as you see the other images as I, I flip through it. So there's about, I think there's 25 images in total. And um, yeah, they're not only some of my favorite images from entire world, but there's like five different continents featured. There's about 20 different countries featured. And I think it's really cool. I think it's something that you should put on your coffee table. I'm selling the book and there is a link for the, the, the book, obviously 
in the about section of this video. So if you scroll down into the about section, there's a link. It'll take you to my page where you can purchase the book. The book, I'm only charging $50 for the photo book, which is 25 pages, which means I don't see a lot of a profit. To be honest, I hardly see anything. And that's okay with me. I wanna get my work out there to the world. I want you guys to see it. I think it came out really, really well. I'm very happy with it, how it's turned out. Anyways, that's it for the show today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you're into learning about how to make photo books or selecting images or things like that, there's also a link in the about section to my article that I wrote on this with a little bit more in-depth uh, information on creating a photo book with Photoshop Elements 13 and this book in particular as well. I also want to tell you to head over to my website and subscribe to my newsletter. When you subscribe to my newsletter you get a free copy of my adventure travel magazine Vagabundo magazine. You'll also get free copies of any future ebook material I send out in the future so that's cool. Also next week I've got a massive massive announcement as I'm announcing my first photo tour of 2015, which is in a really cool location. Other than that, I think that's it. Just subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time. Peace.